Hello everyone, welcome to Codazard. In today's video, we are going to explore a computer vision project that is vehicle detection and counting. Whether you are exploring a career in machine learning or computer vision or just curious about this topic, you will get more clear understanding from this video. So all right, so let's jump right in and get started with table of content of this presentation or, of, or this video. So throughout this presentation, I will guide you through the problem statement, explore the project methodology and discuss potential solutions. And finally, you can contact us. And additionally, I will show you how this project can significantly enhance your portfolio and demonstrate your technical expertise. If you find this project fascinating and also are interested in implementing it for your learning purpose or a final year projects or portfolio building, feel free to reach out to us after this presentation via email or website. We offer various services including training, mentorship, end-to-end -end project implementation, portfolio building or portfolio assistance and moreover if you are building some POCs, MVP and micro SaaS project then also we are helping there. So let's jump right into the problem statement. So this is the demo of the project. This project finally will look like this and you can see the uh, vehicle count at the top. Okay, you can modify accordingly. So this is the, the core feature we will get in this project. Moving forward. So the core objective of this project is to accurately detect and count vehicles in video streaming. The need of this project is to efficiently monitor and manage traffic flow in real time. Traffic management system heavily relies on the data to analyze traffic patterns, optimize traffic flow and implement effective measure to reduce congestions. So this is one very use cases, very important use cases of traffic management system in real life or obviously vehicle count and detections. While doing this project, there are several challenges you have to face. So let's talk about the challenges. and. And the, and the challenges is achieving the accurate, accurate detections and counting the present uh, you know uh, number of vehicles in the current uh, video frame or the frame or images. So let's talk uh, one by one the challenges. So the very first challenge is, is to diverse type of vehicles. So when you are working on vehicle detection projects, so these are the first challenge will you know the system need to handle various vehicle time. So you have to define different frames. You can see I have just uh, you know circle as uh, you know red to see the different vehicles. You know as you can see these are one type of vehicle. These are one you know just car, buses, trucks, motorcycles, and uh, and etc. Other things you want to detect or count from this. Uh, projects uh, or in your code you want to implement. This was the first challenges and the second challenge is varying lighting conditions, weather, rain, fog, snow and also these you know, occlusions, you know, occlusions means you know, partial or fully hiding of the vehicles. So we have to also handle you know, in our code to adopt the diverse weather conditions and overcome potential occlusions caused by others vehicle, okay, pedestrians and all the infrastructures. Okay, so this is the you know heavily depend on the lighting condition and weather. Let's move into the other challenges. In third challenges, uh, real time processing requirement for accurate and timely counting. So also when when we are handling traffic management or has traffic signaling, time is also very important. You know how many seconds you have to you know block some of the road and which of the area you have to you know managing your time tra tra signaling light. So these are the uh, challenges I am just listed down. One more huge cases of this vehicle counting and detection is uh, you, you can see more use cases like real time processing in surveillance video where the real time vehicle tracking is also essential like. So now let's talk about the methodology. Okay. So the very first important what are different things you needed. The first one is input. Okay. So for do this one. So either you can use video streaming live camera or pre-recorded both based on your needs you can do. So we begin with you know video streaming as a uh, input either the capture from the live camera or obtained from the pre-recorded sources. The next challenge is you know once the video is 
a gate or we have already captured this video the next step is you know undergo the processing to enhance the image quality extract individual frames and further analysis so basically this code will do automatically but i'm just explaining what will the next step behind the scene will happen okay so once the video is captured pre-processing will start by the system so it's like before pre-processing this will do image enhancement frame extractions and taking the individual frames and further analyze this frame to extract the information like you know number of vehicles and number of you know others you know accurately detected the third uh, step you can see object detection identify and locate the vehicles car buses obviously when the image uh, pre-processing is done our ne next step is to identify you know object detection object detection means there is a different you know uh, template told you know how to identify cars how to identify you know uh, buses you know trucks so because these are in different in cycle like right? there will be different boundary boxes you know how to detect so our third step will be sub subsequently an object detections a uh, model play a crucial role in identifying and locating vehicle within each frame so for this one obviously for object detection we have to use different algorithms all the algorithm that is available in the market or maybe if you want to improve your code also you can do so this is a third step is very important object detection this is the actual part where you know uh, coding are most important uh, crucial especially for algorithm part okay and the fourth part is object detection then tracking follow the vehicle across the multiple frames then our tracking mechanisms come into play which is essential for maintaining the identity of each vehicle as it moves across multiple frame in the video and ensure accurate counting so obviously you can see tracking the vehicles and cars so maybe the same cars can be come into multiple frames frames means just capturing one you know images for particular time because you know video is just you know uh, moving of uh, you know multiple images you know fast moving of uh, images like that so one frame so taking capturing one frame so one frame is considered as one images at a particular time so maybe if the same a frame or maybe multiple frame has same objects okay so where the tracking is important so uh, you know so follow the vehicle across the multiple frames that is the two second part is important tracking the objects okay tracking tracking the vehicles after then the object detection and track tracking is done then our actual counting will started okay then uh, the finally the you know, determining the total number of vehicle the data is dis display as output as you can uh, i have already shown in the first video uh, first uh, slide often accompanying by you know visual representation highlighting the detected vehicle using boundary boxes of is you know visual clues you can use so how you want to display this one so like you know okay so i'm talking about this one so you can use so anyway anyhow you how you want to show this uh, you know output uh, you can show output here so here or anywhere you want to show this one so just but on the top of the video i okay so this was our total six step input pre-processing object detection track tracking and then uh, object detection counting the important part of this video uh, this not video this project and then after the finally uh, you know counting determine total number of vehicles and output how we want to uh, show your result okay or counting data now moving to the next slide you know core libraries and tools so python server is a foundations offering a um, flexible and widely used language for various programming tasks like this after python uh, there is a you new know, open cv that is powerful libraries that enable us to you know use the object detection and tracking part okay and finally uh, deep learning framework like tensorflow or pytorch play a crucial role or critical role in building and utilizing pre-trained object detections model which are heart of you know vehicle identification in this project some popular and effective object detections model for this task including yolo 5 faster faster rcnn and ssd deep learning is a framework so that is also have given the options you know how easily you can you know achieve in this project as well so so these are proposed solutions so how you can go through if you are first time you want to see how this project is actually working so um, 
doing lots of coding using OpenCV. So you can opt for, you know, this deep learning frameworks and you can achieve your project more easily and fastly. So the object detections model, YOLO 5, uh, sorry, YOLO 5 yeah, were earlier 8, 9, 10 or any relevant model you can use. Okay. So what are the advantage of these models? You know, a real time ca capability, this model have real time capability good accuracy uh, good accuracy and uh, different conditions and also you can do customizations like you know the model can be fine tuned for a specific use cases you know just like deploy this project for traffic signaling or in some malls you know or maybe some surveillance system so based on your use cases you can customize this project okay so using all of all of model that is very you know easy task so first time you are building this project i'm just recommending this one so first i start, I start with this then you can do your own coding as well with the help of OpenCV. so this is some detail about the you know model all of uh, eight models so you can see what are the capability of this model like you know classify detect segment tracking or pose you can see here you know this can classify like persons tripod safety vest you know detect you know traffic cones you know persons segment different in image segmentations tracking you know this one this one so, you know so this model you love it also you can see the uh, ult ultralatics this company have released this model as well others uh, company have also you know have this yolo model you can also use okay also this model is yolo v l of 8 has you know uh trained on coco's you know data set so these are data set important right because and they based on the data set and how well how good your data set then based on that data set you will get better accuracy and better result from the model so after building this projects what will be your value Okay, so you can see on the screen, so develop computer vision skills, you know, like image processing, object detection technique. And also this project is excellent way to build a strong foundation in computer vision, deep learning. Okay, so deep learning framework experience with popular machine learning framework. You will tackle a challenges, uh, challenging problem with applications in various industry. So what are the different applications and use cases of this project based on your need? So once you work on the core part how this video streaming work then you can deploy or you can you know build applications uh, using this concept in anywhere right this uh, project also significantly boost your skills showcase your ability to potential employer or you know or collaborator yeah, collaborator means if you are working with some uh, individuals client working with some uh, freelancing projects or any party working on okay so as you can see on the screen third is practical solving a skill obviously this will help you you know translating a real world issue into working solutions put uh, portfolio enhancement obviously demonstrating technical uh, proficiency and you know interest in ai ml so if you're working sub such projects and also you are uh, going deep dive of algorithms how the algorithms work and how this algorithm you know work do the different tasks you know you can see the classification detection so i think you should work on yolo v model and how you can think one part for this one vehicle detection and counting we will be using you know tracking right but this model have others work as well other work means other tasks they can do classifications of the objects uh, in images detecting what are the things in uh, this images segment you know pose detection so when you are you know doing video streaming from the you know uh, sports you know like cricket football and all other sport activity you know want to tracking the positions you know or actions or pose of the uh, players and the uh, others you know things okay so this was the project's value and finally so thank you for your attention if you are considering implementing uh, this project or similar projects for learning or as a final year project or portfolio building so please uh, you know, don't hesitate to contact us we are here to help you achieve your goals and you know what are the things are needed you know we can you know help and like you know these are different services end-to-end -end project implementation so thank you so much for watching everyone so let's meet in another one